Okay, hi everyone. This is uh, another screencast, um, and this one is about how to use um, the adjustments in iPhoto. I know a lot of people may not even get their, their photos out of their cameras sometimes and get them into iPhoto, but when you do, you can really, um, if you take a little bit of time, you really can improve your photos by using the adjustment tools in iPhoto. So I've already opened up a photo um, in iPhoto, and, and all you have to do is double click and it will take you to the um, uh, the the adjustment uh, uh, window and you can click on here the first off we're going to look at str uh, cropping this photo this, this is okay if it is but we could also crop it a little bit so you click on the crop tool here and basically you can slide it and it gives you like a little grid which you can use to I like to kind of put my photos in one quartile of this grid so if you crop it here and then push the apply button, you see we can see his face a lot, lot better just by cropping it tighter. So that's one of the key things between an amateur and professional photographer is that uh, a professional photographer knows how to crop a photo in camera or after the picture is taken in the, um, you know, in, in the, in the post-processing uh, part. And then after you do that, um, you click on the adjust button here and the you know, the iPhoto comes with a lot of preset buttons here, effects. But you know, you really want to learn how to do your own manual adjustments to a photo, and it only takes a few a few minutes to do it once you once you practice. So basically, all you have to do, the, the Apple is set it up so pretty much you just kind of work from from the top to the bottom and and then process. And here, this photo is not too bad, but we can add a little more light to it. So we're going to pull it this way to add more light. You take it this way if you want to make it darker, but we're going to add a little light this way. And then we want to make some contrast in the photo. So basically all you have to do is push it this way for a little, little con some, some contrast. You see how it changes some there. Kind of brings in more detail. Uh, we're not going to do too much saturation, but if you wanted to cool it down, and if you want to say, you know, you want to take some of the color out of it, you take it this way. Uh, or you click off this button here. And if you take it this way, it'll take it to definitely decolorize it. Or if you want to, you know, add, make the colors a little bit stronger, you can do that. So we might take a little bit here. And the definition uh, adjustment is really nice for, particularly for portrait people photos. It brings a little bit more clarity, a little more sharpness to your photo. Notice, if you look at it carefully, you'll see a little bit more sharpness in my son's skin. Um, the highlights are for if you want to, if you have to say that, look at the hat here, it's kind of bright and you want it to make it less bright, um, you want to you know, take it this way, otherwise we're going to leave it, leave it as is. If you have some parts of the photo that are a little bit too dark, this will, this will bring back details in the shadows. Um, and I don't want to, I think it's okay for what it is, but if you had some um, photos with a little bit of shadows in and you want to bring some detail in the shadows, use that. And then iPhoto is really great with sharpness. If you take it to the right, you see how much sharper it gets um, in the photo. And then if you have what's called digital noise, and digital noise is like when you see uh, your photo is kind of... Um, grainy or what have you, you use that. This photo is not that, that way. And then you have the temperature and tint. If I want to change the temperature of it, make it a little bit warmer, I go this way, a little bit cooler. I may go here, but it was okay as, as is. And then the tint, of course, is to do some funky kind of added some colors at the top, but we're going to leave it like it is. Okay, so basically all you have to do, and you can kind of go back and you can work it back and forth in there, and uh, it's, it's really easy to do and then if you want to you can copy these settings by pushing this button you can copy them and then apply it to an another photo that was a similar photo that was shot in the same lighting conditions so I just kind of here the um, kind of before and, and and after kind of things you see how much better that is just taking a just taking a minute or two to work through it and the more you learn how to use the adjustment tools in iPhoto the easier it gets